So here's the deal. I was clearing out more brush along the side here. That's where I did the review of the machetes over there. And uh, anyway, there's this big kind of tree that's like the bottom half is dead and the top half is alive. So I did a little video of me cutting a portion of that off with the crosscut saw. Or well, I did cut it completely off. And it is that guy going down in there. We'll go around to the side in a minute. But it's ugly and it's half dead and it's kind of in the way of where I wanted to clear everything out. So we'll go around to the side over here. So as you can see, I cut it clean off and it's still kind of up. It's perched on the branches on the other side, so now it needs to be tilted one way or the other. It'd be easier for this to go uh, to the left, tilted over to the left, but I have the pulley system out and I wanted to have a little fun and try and make this a little more difficult than it needs to be. So what I've done is I've attached a rope to the top up here. And then that rope continues on and I know it's very unsafe to walk under this thing right now. So this rope continues on. And I have it hooked up to my SMC double pulleys. And I also have a micro pulley. So I believe this pulling system is a 5 to 1 ratio. And that means for every pound of force I exert on this hauling end, I'll get 5 pounds in return minus a little bit less because of friction loss or, or something along those lines so let's go Alright, so I just tried this system a second ago and it wasn't enough so I've added a couple more components to the system. To start, I added this SMC distributor block, which it has your main uh, securing ring and then you have five different ports you can attach to. Uh, yeah, so I was originally trying to do just a simple 5 to 1 system and I had a sender so I didn't have any type of prog uh, progression capturing device such as a, um, a Prusix or something to capture the progress of the line so that that wasn't working out I thought I could just give it a couple shots and it'd come right down but that's not the case so we're going full tilt so again I've added that distributor block I know there's a proper name for that whatever and also what I've done is I've added an ascender there an additional Grigory uh, Grigory right there which captures any progress that I make so every time I go to reset um, this maximizer pulley all the pro progress in the line will be captured and if for any reason I need to detension the system because this isn't working then I can just release the tension off that Grigory. And now what I've also done is on top or on the bottom side of that ascender I've added another pulley and what that does is that creates more mechanical advantage so I should be able to get more uh, tension on this line simply. And for some reason, I think when you add a pulley on top of a 5 to 1 such as that, for some reason I feel like it becomes more of a 7 to 1, even though that's, that would be, I, I don't know, I, I think it's 7 to 1. Maybe it's because I added that Grigory in there too, but there's a lot of uh, friction on that Grigory, but, so, I think it's something like that. But anyway, also so I can pull harder on this bottom line here, uh, of course I have my Petzl regular hand ascender. And every time that ascender comes down to the Grigory, all I do is I take it, slide it back down the line here, and I just reset my Grigory on this line. And then we go from there, so let me get this set up and we'll keep going.
So you can, as you can see, all my progress is captured. Now that this ascender has come to the end of our system, I'm gonna take off my other hand ascender. I'm gonna move this ascender down the line. Reattach my hand ascender. And go back to work. Starting to come a little bit, a little bit of cracking. Gotta reset it again. There we go. And I'd say that's pretty damn good. All right, let's try that. Try to keep my arm out of the way. system is now detensionized. Just use caution when you're approaching any branches that you move like this because I'm sure there may be some unfinished movement. So we did move it forward about four or five feet from where it was, but more importantly, I did succeed in tilting this over, which was my original intended purpose. Now, I'm probably just gonna cut up the trunk of this log with the crosscut saw, and then I'm gonna let it season, turn it into firewood or something, and all these other branches, I'm just gonna stack on a brush pile and maybe burn them in the campfire in the future. And I'd say that's about it. Thanks for watching. I know I'm not. Yeah, we'll just, uh, we won't put anything there. <laughs>